Well, hello there to my Libras. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. The theme for this week is next seven days, fourth through November 4th through November the um, 10th. November 4th through November 10th is gratitude. Put together your list of the things that you are grateful for. That's right. Replace any worrying with gratitude. Libras, put that list together. Right? Like you put your hands together. That's right. Put your hands together. Be grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Put that list together. A list of gratitude. While you're getting your rest, like starting to think about, you know, this first quarter moon, like starting to think about, hmm, how do you become a better humanitarian? How can you become a better humanitarian? Right? Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. Talking to you wherever Libra is in your birth chart. So here we have the three of pentacles, right? So that's what you're talking about, it, right? Talking about, what are you talking about, right? Talking about staying away from um, the, you know, emotional manipulators, right? You don't even want to be on a team with, um, you know, emotional manipulate. That's just something for you. You're saying, you're staying away from those energies. Like you're just in a, in a state of gratitude. It's like, whew, I'm so grateful that I was able to identify, right? You were able to, you're just like, oh, I'm so grateful, right? We have the King of Cups here. See these shark eyes right here from darkness. You saw some kind of something you saw, something you saw, Libra, in someone's eyes was just really dark and glazed over. Um, I'm gonna call somebody's attention, Libra. This if this this weekend, if you're watching, if you if you're watching this video on Sunday, right? To go like just watch any any movie like a like a like the um, behaviors of sharks, like deep like you people who are going. Uh, deep sea like swimming you know this kind of stuff and just how they the sneak attack they're predators they're predators um and so usually you have like a team of people together whatever so water connects us with emotions right the type of water that they're usually around what kind of water do they usually swim in right sharks <clears throat> so here we have the five of swords right so you come into some energies, you know, from your past that when you look back, you know, like this, this person right here, they look back and they go, wow, you know, see even the colors on this, like the root, like talking about your root chakra, right? Talking about maybe your roots. You look back and you go, you identify some, you even talk about the water right here, right? You even talk about the water, like you're looking at your roots and something about you may have like talked about something and something you identify is like mm, something you may have said something you may have said and just saw like this darkness you know kind of come over someone's eyes right here we also have the princess of cups here right um and yeah and then also we have the star card here and then also the God card here, right? So there's hope for everybody, right? But I'm looking at your cards here. It's like um, hope, bliss, and optimism, you know, for everybody. And I want to say, you know, Source is really, really looking out for you all, you know, Libras. You, you have a, you have a loved one that's really you have two loved ones that's really really watching over you um they're really protecting you wherever you go they're really protecting you wherever you go because <clears throat> you all are ruled by um venus which is a feminine planet right so that's a planet of love pleasure art music aesthetics it's a peacemaker planet, right? And so you all like really are a very fair-minded sign. And I'm speaking to you at your, you're speaking to your highest frequency, right? Speaking to your highest frequency. And something about, you know, your energy, you just give people the benefit of the doubt. So even if a person wanted to splice up your words, you know how like when people are doing like, production like on a um on a like when they're like editing 
like editing stuff, right? Even if a person wanted to just kind of sort of like chop up your words, say, oh, well, this person said that, you know, like when they're doing like, <clears throat> like production, like, you know, how on like on television, <clears throat> You know, just for views and visits and ratings and stuff like that. If a person says, oh, this person said such and such, right? So it's just saying to you, um, you know, just to hurt you. And they're talking about something just, to, you know, somebody's using something just to hurt you. So it's just saying to you, um, you know, if it's, if you said that, you could actually add context to it, you know, down to what the context was, right? Um, and just being fair about a situation, right? Which source is saying to you... Um, will actually backfire on some energies. You know, will actually end up backfiring on some energy. So Source is really looking out for you all because some people feel like certain things are their way or the highway, right? And you have to decide who your source, who your creator is, really. Some people will take a snippet of something that somebody said and go try to use that against you. That's what I'm seeing here in your cards. So that's what I'm looking at here, you know, your cards. So put together your list of gratitude, like put together your, you know, your list of gratitude as somebody is starting to see like your star is starting to shine brighter and brighter and brighter. And I am not talking about celebrity. For, so if you're new to my channel, you'll hear me say this celebrity, whatever that means, <laughs> like I feel like every, every, everything is celebrated is to some degree, like. Everything is celebrated. Everything. Somebody celebrates everything, right? <clears throat> so, but um, some some people feel like some things are celebrated more than others. I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. You have to decide. You, you really have to decide. But, and people are just kind of sort of talking, you know, about, you know, certain things. And um, Some people are talking about, you know, certain things. And in this case right here, people could be talking about skin color because we're talking about dark and light right here. People could be talking about skin color. People could be talking about skin color here. Right? And so although all hues are beautiful, right? Although all hues are beautiful, Somebody, I'm looking at this red cap right here. Red connects us with the root chakra, right? So thinking about kind of sort of your roots, right? And so just kind of belonging to the human race, like thinking about the human race, right? And becoming a, a humanitarian. Even that color yellow right there connects us with the solar plexus chakras. So this is where, you know, you're adding clarity, right? And not being connected to the dark side of fire, which is low self-esteem or burnout or confusion or whatever. You don't want to be on the side of confusion, like people who are trying to be confusing about anything. So when we talk about like people splicing up stuff or just like when we talk about cups, that's water. Water is very reflective. So when people are trying to record stuff and say, oh, they said this and trying to use certain things against. You're saying, listen, let me add clarity to something. You add clarity to whatever. Yeah, you add clarity to it. You don't even have to be angry with an energy. Because you already know, like, okay. You already know what team you're on. That's exposed. That's already exposed. So just so, so let somebody know. I'm saying here in your cards. All right. Here's a justice card. So don't do yourself an injustice when you're dealing with vain and vengeful spirits. That's what Source is trying to help you to learn how to do. It's like, don't do yourself an injustice when you're interacting with vain and vengeful spirits who try to use your words against you when you're pouring out, you're pouring water out. That could mean you're crying. That could mean that you are sweating. Any form of where you are purging, right? Purging. You could be 
vomiting. You could be sick, like any kind of outpour of something, right? Where you got people who there's something just sneaks up on you. Sometimes an emotion can sneak up on you, right? So um, when you're talking about roots, uh, when you're talking about sword energy, that can be a very painful something you're discussing, right? So those kind of things. So, yeah. So here we have the Knight of Wands here. So you do. So source is saying, you know, you're free, you know, from some energies who you free yourselves when you are um, aligned, when you are interacting with energies who you know are trying to say you're lying about something, right? You're freeing yourself. Okay, that's a, somebody's like somebody saying that's a snippet of something, right? snippet of something where you're trying to gain some clarity of something whoever this is i don't know who i'm talking to here people who are doing trying to do an injustice but i know the dark side of libra this is the dark side of Le dark side of venus your, your ruling planet venus is someone who is vain vengeful green with envy vain vengeful green with envy someone who's trying to disrupt your peace why would they try to disrupt your peace because we're starting with the leading card pentacles right something that someone is not gaining from you of some kind of financial gain either you're not doing business with someone or you they're not there's some kind of financial gain they're not getting from something or they're doing business with someone else so they're trying to get money in some way shape form or fashion right so here we have the nine of wands here. So yeah, when you look back, yeah, when you look back, um, when I look at your cards here, source is saying you're going to be grateful that um, source is fast tracking you, has fast tracked you away from certain types of energies, right? Who have disrupted your peace. Like something about your energy has been around sharks. You all have been around people who are just very cold. Like you think about sharks and it just like um, being underwater is very different than being on land. Like for instance, if you're on land and just the force against air, right? If you're coming against air and you land just the force behind your weight, and it lands, that it would make some kind of an impact. But underwater, if you try to kick or swing up against a shark in just their, you know, their skin, that shark will look at you like, um, sir or ma'am, you're in my territory. Try again. <laughs> right? So that's what this is. So like somebody, somebody could have been in, you know, a territory where somebody is like, mm, I don't really care about you crying. I don't really care about you vomiting or whatever it is. I don't care about you being sick, you know, to your stomach or whatever. Because again, that's somebody, the leading card here is money. That's the leading card here is money. So somebody could care less about emotions. So whoever it is. You know, somebody could care less about emotions. So, yep. Some kind of charity is involved. Here's the Six of Pentacles. Some kind of charity involved that would make some kind of financial independence, right? So, and you're not looking for acceptance or approval. So, Source is saying it's time for you to kind of sort of close off your, something about your financial independence, this time for you to just kind of like closing off about your financial independence. And so, so just stay away from certain energies. Just stay away from them altogether. Put a manhole cover over, you know, the past. Just cut certain people off altogether. Just cut them off. Just cut them off altogether. So remember time is relative. Here we have the five of pentacles here. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got some energies that really, really really want to see you out in the cold 
Yeah, there's, the, there's some there's some energies who want to stop your financial independence. This is deep, though. This is really, really deep. Some energies really want to see you out in the cold. <clears throat> so, um, you really want to keep your vibrations high. You really want to keep your vibrations high. Some energies really want you dependent upon them. So put together your list of your, what you're, you're grateful for. Put your, put your list together, what you're grateful for. Put your list together. Keep your vibrations high. Keep your vibrations high, right? Here's the five of wands here. So there does not need to be an internal struggle in your spirit. It does not need to be any kind of an internal struggle. I don't understand why, what's going on. You don't need to be confused. You don't need to fall for a bait and switch. You know, none of that. None of it at all. None of it. You need to be very clear in your mind that you're dealing with vain, vengeful, green with envy spirits who feel like they're familiar with you. And there's some energies in your family or somehow connected to you who it may have been in your home, right? Some energies who may have won, at least, have been in your home who has been talking trash. Who has been talking to other people who have given you the cold shoulder um you know libra so be very careful all right this is the eight of swords right so um who you may have stopped talking to but some energies it looks like you know when you're talking about doing mirror work right this is why i talk about speaking high vibration right who when they look in the mirror they see darkness, right? But that's what they see you as. And I'm not talking about skin color, okay? Just so we're crystal clear. We're not talking about skin color at all. They see you as this dark entity. When you look, when they look at you, it's like this dark energy. So that's the conversation about you is that you're just this really dark energy, right? So be careful. Very, very careful. Here's a higher font card. Yeah. Like I said, these two cards together are ruled by Venus. So there is a there's an Aries that has a God complex here for somebody. There's an Aries, there's a Taurus that you may have been indecisive about at some point in time. Um, you may have been indecisive about at some point in time, right? It actually could be two Taurus because you got two keys here. So there could be, yeah, and it could be an Aries here, but there's um that you could have been indecisive about at some point in time, uh, Libra, where... Um, you don't need to be indecisive about at all. You, you don't need to be indecisive about at all. Like you don't need to be, there needs to be a clear, a clear understanding that they are not team you. They are not team you. See how long and dark this, this coat is on this person? That's just what they think of you. Because you just dark. It's this no. And whoever family members or, you know, because uh, pentacles is root chakra. Like at the root. This is deep rooted. Deeply rooted. Right? So here we have the eight of wands. So it's just saying, somebody needs to stay as far away from these energies as humanly possible stay as far away from them as humanly possible because the, these energies are just looking for a fight put somebody in a david and goliath um situation that's what somebody's like they're looking for a fight so yeah looking for a fight like a uh, all-out battle So make sure you know what your Chiron is and make sure you know and, and really 
during this time, heal your Chiron. C H I R O N. You do need your um, you do need your time of birth for your Chiron. You do need your time of birth for your Chiron. You need your time of birth for your Chiron. So here we have the two of swords. Like I said, you cannot be at an impasse. You're dealing with hurt people. They don't care how many swords you pulled out of your back, how much hurt, how many people talked about you, your depression state, none of that. Sword could be, sword could be, uh, talk about a lot of different things, but it goes straight to power and intellect. They don't care how many people may have said you have a speech impediment, how many degrees you have, don't have. <laughs> they don't care, you know, any sign of weakness. Think about, like, think of it, like I said, when you're talking about sharp, like emotional, um, say almost like they know what can make you cry. So if, um, if somebody thinks like, Mm. If somebody told them, for instance, one of the swords means that um, so when you when you think about when you think about um, energies who Libra, when you think about anything that would oppose source or the creator, that would be the devil, right? what would be your temp your temptations right what would tempt you to cry emotionally what would tempt you to cry who would know that better than anybody what would tempt you to cry what would make you cry what would exhaust you what would exhaust you what would make you cry what would make you cry So stay focused. Stay focused. All right. So we're just trying to help somebody to not get distracted. Not get distracted. Not get distracted at all. all right. Here we have, yeah, like I said, you can have two Taurus here. Right. Or an organization, All right? All right. Here we have the page of swords here. So what will cause you to get distracted? You could be a younger person who is an open book. Who could feel like they may have said something to you to make you cry. Somebody could have Taurus somewhere. In their, um, so if somebody feels like, okay, oh, we have an idea. Right? These light bulbs right here. We have an idea. Let's bring something up. Okay. Did that make them sensitive? Did that make Libra cry? So let's sit. Heal it right now. Purge it. Purge. Purge whatever you think makes you cry. All right? There's a lot of conversation going on here. There's a lot of thinking going on here about a lot of different things. Right? So here we have the Ten of Wands. Right? Ten of Wands. Right. Could be the Eight of Cups, right? Your head and heart cannot be at war with each other about anything. You're dealing with an emotional shark. An emotional shark. So I think they are very familiar with everything about you. Everything about you. So here's judgment. Mm -hmm. You're trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so the full cards, I feel somebody's going to feel changed, liberated, and free. Somebody's going to feel changed, liberated, and free. You're trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. And you're basically dealing with egos, right? So whoever these energies were... You're dealing with some energies, egos. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with some energies, egos who, um, because of your financial independence and not your dependence on, and this is generational. That's why you have the, the judgment card. So the judgment card connects us with Pluto, which is the outermost planet, right? And because you're not dependent upon, you got to understand, like when you talk about generations, 
generations of whoever you are. I don't know who you are. I'm talking to a camera, so I don't know if you're a man, woman, or however you identify. But because of your independence, and I'm just looking at the cards here, <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk about something, right? A lot of talk about something. And people want you to be dependent on them, or it's like their way or the highway. Then you need to be homeless. You need to be out on the street somewhere, struggling out in the cold. That's a that's a mindset. That is a that is a that's a generational thing. You need to be dependent upon somebody. So lots of conversation going on. Three of Cups. Right? So eight and three is eleven. Eleven is a master number. So um somebody needs to get off the fence of their emotions and really, really have a conversation with source. Stay in a posture of gratitude. Stay in a posture of gratitude. Because somebody is cooking up something. Very shady. Right? So make yourself a nice meal. Make yourself a nice meal. Make yourself a nice meal. <clears throat> make yourselves a nice meal. And get your rest. Make yourself a nice meal. Let's see what else we got going on. Let's see what else we got going on. Let's see what else. We got going on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Whew. All right. Let's see. Hold on for a second. Let's see what else we got. Okay. All right, Libras. Um, hmm. Yeah, somebody's um somebody's family is um something else. <laughs> Not, I mean, it could be yours, but I feel like if you were, um, yeah, like if you were somehow, <clears throat> like if you were somehow, um, married to, or like, and the reason I'm saying that because I'm seeing like, uh, possibly, kids or maybe I had some kind of like closeness or something with someone's family um, you know what I'm seeing a lot of in a lot of readings um, Libra is like as soon as the money stops like as soon as people stop benefiting financially that's when people's true colors start showing. <laughs> it's like, what, what in the world is going on with these readings with people? What is going on? Okay. All right. Like somebody wants to see you out in the cold. Somebody wants to see you and somebody out in the cold, basically. Somebody wants to see you and somebody out in the cold, totally dependent on them. And unfortunately, there's a master manipulator who is, behind, uh, you know, who is behind an organization and is a master manipulator who is behind something, right? And so anybody that they can use to, you know, like get you to pour out or like, and it's like a lot of conversation around it. So um, <clears throat> you all are incredibly smart. And so put together your gratitude list. Anybody that you may have felt like um, hurt you in the past where your head and heart were at war with each other. Um, looking at your cards here. Um, usually when your head and heart are at war, there's something you can find that you loved, like agape love about that person, right? So where no strings were attached. Um, something about that energy, you know, um, that you can find that you had in common with that person. So even if you have to take it all, speaking of roots, like speaking of that red color right there, you take it to the root. Like, you know, you know, when I hear people say stuff like um, it sounds very hurt when you hear people say things like um, they were wearing a mask. Well, that would be your your ascendant sign like this. You, you got to take some time to get to know, you know, um, a person. So find out what draw what you loved about that energy 
What, what is it about these energies that you loved, right? Keep something at a high frequency. So when you move on, you're not, you are not, um, you're not taking any bitterness, you know, with you. Right, you're not taking any bitterness with you because you have you have some energies who are very bitter, who are very cold towards you. They are bully energies. It's their way or the highway. They want you to be dependent um, in material form on them. Um, <clears throat> so. Yeah, so that's 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 unfortunate. So here we have the King of Swords here, right? So you all are incredibly smart. You all are incredibly smart. You're incredibly smart. So, so literally, like somebody had to bring out the like, you know, like I said, you have a lot of you have a lot. When I say a lot of ancestors around you, you have a lot of ancestors around you. A lot of ancestors. You know around you but you also have a lot of familiar spirits around you so there you are back in the saddle again i see you being able to defend your decision to move on from some energies without even coming across as defensive right yeah you don't have to say anything dark about anybody nothing you know who you are you're not crazy none of those things and that's what people are trying to make somebody seem like 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 you're mentally ill like you're crazy right like you're like, why? Like, you don't even have to ask why. You know, you already know why. You already know why. You already know why people are want you. Oh, this person needs to be, you know, evaluated. Why aren't they being evaluated? What's wrong with them? Why? Why you? Right? Why you? Right? So. So here we have Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to feel very fortunate. Like I said, you're going to feel very, very fortunate that um, lucky, fortunate, whatever. Something is closed. Yeah, something is closed. Something is closed. Yep, here's the full card. You know, just like I said, trying to create some kind of a distraction. So trying to create some kind of a distraction with you and somebody. So whoever it is trying to create some kind of a distraction. Um, <clears throat> because of your financial independence, trying to kick somebody out in the cold, like trying to make somebody... You and somebody like be, like I said, out in the cold. And that is really, really sad for people to be that evil. Literally be that evil. There is a choice to vibrate high and there's a vibrate low. This is frequency we're talking about here. Put together your list this week. When you watch this video of what you're grateful for. Even the people who have treated you on the lowest frequency. Find something to say. <clears throat> Source sent them across the path, your path for a reason. For a reason. Source sent them across your path for a reason. You initiate putting that list together. Don't let them confuse. Don't let the enemy confuse. The enemy is the devil. That is, um, and the devil is not a person. It's carnal mind. Right? All right, so there it is. All righty, 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 yeah. So, so you're very close to opening up, you know, your vault door, like the, to this next phase of your life. So you're continuing to purge. You're definitely continuing to purge two types of things, you know, going into this next phase of your life. You're definitely continuing to go through your rebirth and you're going to continue feeling you know, continue, you know, going through your rebirth, Libra. You all are very fair-minded sign. That's why I teach the way I teach on my channel because it does not, <clears throat> it really does not pay to vibrate on a low frequency. You're literally fighting against darkness. All that stuff you see on social media, there's other people's lives, like just being dark towards people. Just all that darkness out there. Be very careful with your ear gate and eye gate. Very, very careful. Very, very careful. 
Be patient. The answers are coming. Create the change that you want. That's it. It's you versus you. Relax. 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 <clears throat> Somebody's an incubus. Your inner child is very proud of you. You have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. You remember the future. So speak it into existence. We're not talking about the evil clown. <laughs> We're not talking about it. Y'all know it, right? The little clown that be coming out the um, sewer. <laughs> we talking about, uh, you know, the with the little fingers be coming out the be coming out the sewer. Here we have document your dreams day and night. <clears throat> right. So anyway. Speak it, but not that it, right? Speak what you want. <laughs> Speak the blessings you want to come into existence, right? What, what you want? What you want to come into existence? You want, you want to have high vibrational energies, right? You want those energies. You want that to come into existence, right? High vibrational energy. So you put out, you send that energy out to the universe, right? You send that energy. So it's create the change that you want. But it's you versus you. Anybody that sees you as competition, that's a distraction. Anyway, be patient. The answers are coming. And that's what this is. That's all this fire right here. So energies are trying to, um, you know, create some kind of conflict. Trying to see you as competition. Like, What? It would be businesses trying to put you out of business. It's like, you know, uh, you may not even be in the same type of business as people. Like, what in the world? Literally, what in the world? You see the world card, like, really, what in the world? You're not even of this world, for real. You're a spirit. You're having a human experience. What in the world is going on? So treat yourselves to a spa day, but it's time to heal your wounded, uh, your wounded uh, healer. That's your Chiron, C H I R O N. Make a list of um, pros and cons. I feel like I need to tell somebody. Whoever your regular spa person is, you may need to switch it. Somebody, yeah, you need to, you need to. I don't know who that's for. I don't know who that's for. Whoever your spa person is, somebody has become familiar with your person. You normally go to the spa to see that spa person. You're protected by angels. But um, journal your journey. Yeah. Do the mirror work. It's time for you to do the mirror work. But trust your first mind. Trust your first mind. Somebody feel that stealing your or identity. So stealing your identity is not necessarily always in a physical sense, right? Stealing your identity could be just like someone's trying to steal your um, your spirit, like really trying to um, discourage you. That could be one way, like really, really trying to discourage you. Like, man, why? You know, I just want everybody, you know, like you all are um, air signs, right? So you're looking constantly looking for what you have in common with people. Like, oh, I just wish we could all work together. You know, I just wish we could all just like hold hands and join teams. And, you know, I just wish we could all. Um, keep it high vibrational. Keep it high vibrational. Keep it very, very high vibrational, okay? Focus on your inner child. Allow me to give um, compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings, okay? Focus on your inner child. Focus on your inner child, right? Focus on your inner child. Focus on your inner child. Love. I treat my body with love and respect. I release the need to control the people in my life. I give thanks for the abundance of peace and joy that is flowing into my relationships. That's right. So that's your affirmation for love. Again, you can love people. I mean, everything on planet Earth is connected. Everything. Everything is connected, right? <clears throat> you never you don't have to force <clears throat> you don't have to force um you know um your your will on anybody. You really don't to force your will on anybody so joy i was created for a purpose great things happen to me each day my very presence is a blessing See, you're just being here you know just being positive high vibrational i believe in myself joy is a choice and i choose joy greater is coming i am enough 
I am enough. That's right. I am enough. That's right. You are enough. That you are. You are enough. I am wise. That's right. I am wise. I am wise. All right. That is what I have for you. 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 Yeah. So curiosity. Yeah. So someone has a very curious nature. You have a very curious nature. Um, your child, somebody's child has a very curious nature. And maybe have inherited it from you, you know, just very curious, just kind of so sort of see what's out there. Um, and um, you see all these like butterflies out here, you know, just kind of um, kind of trying to come out of the cocoon and kind of, you know, just that curiosity of just kind of, you know, like you think about like the... Um, a metamorphosis like uh what's the card um the judgment card so breaking generational cycles chains and curses um like you may have a, a curious nature and just wanting to know more of like about you know spirit spirituality you may have a curious nature about just kind of sort of wanting to know your roots and just know more about your loved ones or family and those kind of things right but you you wanting to know your roots and know about your family and just like about spirituality should not cause pain for you. And that's what Source is saying. That's what Source is saying. Should not cause you pain, right? Especially if it's in the spirit of love. If it's in the spirit of love, it should not cause you pain, right? So here we have 21. I am inspiring. So you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. 21. All right. That's what I have for you, Libras. Thank you so much for joining me. I will, um, I will um, see you all in the next video, right? Okay. Bye.